In today's video, we're comparing the autofocus capabilities of both the X-T4 and the X-T5, and we're going to answer the question, is it worth the upgrade? And make sure you watch until the end so that you don't miss any of the tests that we made today. I placed both the X-T4 and the X-T5 on the tripod, paired with the XF 33mm f1.4. Both cameras are set the same way with an aperture of f1.4, a shutter speed of 1 over 500 of a second to make sure that there is no motion blur in the picture, and I then adjusted the ISO to compensate. Both cameras are set to shoot only JPEG fine quality to make sure that I don't have any problem of buffers in this test. And finally, they are both set into zone AF mode with the eye tracking autofocus feature on. All right, so first, before we start, a big thank you to my girlfriend who helped me with those tests. Make sure to leave a like on the video to thank her. In the first test, I simply asked her to walk towards the camera while looking at it. What I observe is that first, the Fujifilm X-T4 had some trouble tracking the subject if it was too far from the camera. It only detected the subject in the zone tracking area after a few shots, and the eye tracking feature kicked off even later than that. However, once it kicked in, I could see that the focus was spot on, which is expected because it's a test that is not extremely challenging for the camera system. On the other end, the Fujifilm X-T5 managed to stay spot on and track the subject from the beginning to the end of the test. It feels like the test was not challenging at all for the X-T5 and we can see that in the result. The Fujifilm X-T4 has about a 60% hit rate while the Fujifilm X-T5 has an 80% hit rate on this test. So already for this test, which is not a really challenging one, we see quite a big improvement. So now let's move on to a more challenging one where the subject will be running towards the camera and we will be capturing continuously some shots. So what we observe is that the X-T4 still has the issue of capturing the subject at first because it seems like it's too far for it to detect it. However, we can also see that the autofocus capabilities of the X-T4 seems to play catch up with the subject. When we have a look at the X-T5 test, we can see that the X-T5 again manages to detect the subject right away and is much stickier and faster to move than the X-T4. The eye autofocus detection kicks right in and just does its job. However, I will add that there were some occasions where the tracking basically appeared as okay in the screen, but the images that resulted in this particular instant were out of focus. So there are still some issues there uh, that I think can be fixed by firmware update. We have a 67% hit rate on the Fujifilm X-T5 compared to the 49% hit rate on the X-T4. And of course, this challenge is kind of specific. You will not often have your model running at you during portraits, but this is just a quick test to see how far we can push the capabilities of the system. So, so far we had the model walk towards the camera and run towards the camera. But what happens in portrait session is that if you want to include movement, you will have random movements in your shots, right? So this time I asked my girlfriend to walk towards the camera, but include turnaround, include left and right movement to see in a real life situation how the system will behave. And this time we can see that the X-T4 has a hit rate of 54% which is a bit lower than the first test and expected because this time I asked her to turn around, not to look at the camera always. So the eye detection is a little bit more challenging. However, in case of the X-T5, we have about 79% hit rate. And one more observation that I would have between the X-T4 and the X-T5 is that the X-T5 is able to recognize and track the subject even if the subject is not looking at all at your camera. The X-T4, however, as soon as the subject start turning around, will just stop the tracking. And I think that this is one of the big improvements that you have when it comes to the new autofocus system. It's much stickier even when your subject is not looking at you or when something comes in the frame. And that can be extremely useful if you want to incorporate some foreground or some other subject within your frame when you go for a portrait shoot. And for a bonus test, I wanted to also track the subject detection of X-T5. So I went to a dog park and tried to photograph dogs. I have set my X-T5 to animal detection and the X-T4 to white tracking. And I wanted to compare the results and the heat rate of both cameras. As we are dealing with animals here, you can understand that it's hard to replicate the exact same test. 
but after taking a few shots of dogs running around, what I can say is that the X-T5 definitely outclasses the X-T4 in this category. The X-T5 comes with a hit rate of 65% compared to the 44% hit rate of the X-T4. Now I understand that animal detection is a little bit niche and I haven't tried the bird or the airplane or the train detection because that's not exactly what I photograph. But only with dot detection we can see a huge improvement in hit rate compared to the X-T5 and the X-T4. Alright, so as a conclusion, what I would say is that the X-T5 is definitely an upgrade when it comes to the autofocus system compared to the X-T4. If your subject is moving fast, if you want to incorporate movement in your portrait shoots, or if you're capturing animals, the X-T5 outclasses the X-T4 for autofocus capabilities. But is the autofocus system of the X-T5 perfect? Not at all. There are still some moments where it's not sticking to its subject and while it appears like it's sticking in your LCD or EVF, you still have some images that are out of focus. So keep that in mind. It is not perfect. It is just improved compared to the previous generation. However, the X-T4 still performs okay. Yes, it behaves a little bit worse than the X-T5. It's kind of normal. It's the new generation but it's still a great camera in 2022. And I think that when it comes to choosing between the X-T4 and the X-T5, more than image quality, it's about whether or not you need the resolution, the faster autofocus, and if you prefer the fully articulated screen or the three-way tilt screen. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've missed it, check out this video right here where I compared the X-T5 and the X-T4's low light performance, resolution, and dynamic range. See you there.